Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome from your sister Christy Diaz to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let us begin with our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you asking for the forgiveness of all my sins, O oh God, that you cleanse me so that this prayer reaches your heavenly throne as I come before you this beautiful morning, thanking you, O oh God, for the weekend. Because every Sabbath, you always have something special in store for us. And it gives us the strength to face a new week. God, I ask that the word we received in each sermon, the messages through hymns and songs we sang, and each manifestation we experienced this weekend, may it all be recorded in our minds and kept in our hearts. That heavenly bread and water is what will sustain us this week as we walk among this world and as we face troubles and challenges. Dear Lord, give us the strength to cling on to you, to trust and praise you no matter what we face. You have guided us up to this moment. You are with us now and you have promised that you will never abandon those who keep your word. Shelter us, Lord, and give us the victory, because all these things I have asked in the name of Jesus Christ, my Savior. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Do Not Give Up. It was written by Andy Rodolfo Chachote and translated by Nelson Baides. This devotional comes from the book Mesa de Fe, page 166, and our biblical base is found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. So says the word of God. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of his holy word. Do not give up. Sometimes we feel so frustrated in our purposes that we take the decision to abandon everything, regardless of the consequences. Giving up is very easy. Putting together a puzzle is not easy. It can be difficult to find the pieces that fit correctly in each place. The tests and difficulties can be so hard at times that they force us to make the right decisions until we have each priority in the right place. Otherwise, we could falter and give up. In the Christian race, there will always be good days and others not so good. But the sure thing is that our Heavenly Father will never abandon us. He will always be by our side to help us, and that is more than enough reason to keep going despite the falls. Do not give up. Your victory is secure in Jesus. He has already won, and with His help, we will also be able to overcome. Our Savior is soon coming to crown us for our fidelity. Gather your strength. Walk one more mile, and you will reach the end. Amen. May the Lord receive all honor and glory. And I am just amazed at how God's timing is so perfect. And today, I would like to testify about how big of a blessing these devotionals have been for my life, because there have been many times where I had to prepare one of these and I found myself in such a great need of receiving a word from God, waiting for a response to prayer, through the reading of his word, or hearing a song or a conversation, and in an unexpected yet in a way more impactful method, God spoke to me through these devotionals and I am overjoyed to be part of this ministry. But the greatest thing about this is knowing that God speaks to all of his children in any way he wants, according to our needs and at the perfect moment. 
I don't know what you are needing today, but I believe that God allowed you to listen to this devotional for a reason. Perhaps you need it today. Maybe you'll need it in the future. But whenever that moment comes, remember the words shared today. Do not give up. Gather your strength. Walk one more mile and you will reach the end. Until you stop breathing, till you stop bleeding, until your heart stops kick drum beating, when it's hard times, when it's long days, and the enemy is right up in your face, when your back's against the ropes, and you're feeling all alone, keep fighting the good. Step, giving you the next breath. I'll be the voice saying you're gonna make it when you're out there on your own. You are never alone. Keep fighting the good. Brothers and sisters, the road is long, and there may be deserts we have to cross. The raging sea will rock our boat, and we will encounter days where our hearts feel dismayed and our bodies weaken to keep going. But like the poem says, don't be disheartened when you only see one set of footsteps, because it doesn't mean you're alone. All the contrary, it means your heavenly father is carrying you across to victory. So even in the valley of death and shadow, raise your hands in prayer. Keep fighting the good fight and praise your creator because the almighty one is holding you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And before finalizing this session, I kindly invite you to go over to our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible readings where we can find a refuge and strength to move forward. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. Let us wake in gratitude and walk in grace.